And with my understanding as how I was taught when I was still in church, was like a Christian is somebody who follows Christ. Okay. You understand? So it, it goes with the belief because most of us, actually my generation, myself to be specific, I've never seen Christ. It's even difficult for me to celebrate his birthday, which is 25th of December. I'm not sure. I haven't seen his birth certificate. The Good Friday, I'm not sure. I haven't seen his death certificate. So I decided myself that I'm going to challenge what I believe in. Hello, Ebusiafo. So, we are Pacifica Asura Chodo for the and then of our Mukodom is unique laser whitening. Unique laser whitening. I will toothpaste to strong one. What did you choose? And my will see a year fita. Na a year fita no sooner. Na a ye and cow bonny beer and woe no more beer. Any tea stain, coffee stain, smoking stain, see beer. Unique laser whitening product. A beginning in every swam or kama kama kama. The other one is a wutu so. Na udi beer go. O brush it so. Na udi a chuchu o sinisuni na kama. O via. And who who were num general were num sa. Into for a unique laser whitening. I was zero seven nine 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 seven nine two three three zero. Unique laser whitening. Or say muni because this is the system that i was introduced to mm -hmm. so at the young age i was um the first time i was invited to church i was eight years i was invited to christian church you know those ones they call them deliverance yeah. that's where they pray for people and the people they fall down and all that you know the first day when the <laughs> i was invited to the panel to go there to align with people and actually get prayed for and they said what they're doing they said in my language they call it hopolo but it's to be given salvation and i'm like why is salvation supposed to come from the hand of a man and not from the hand of god oh, okay but i went there because i'm a child and i'm in church and everybody's doing that so when the pastor was praying because it was a long queue started there people are falling are falling are falling this is the most interesting part mm -hmm. When they pray for this other woman on my, my left hand side, because I was facing that side. When they pray for this woman on my left hand side, mm -hmm. the woman in my right hand side was shaking already. <laughs> and I'm like, It was feeling the anointing already. Yes. And I'm like, Am I a Bluetooth? Does it pass through me? What's happening? I was like, But in my mind, I'm like, I'm not going to fall. Mm -hmm. I always told myself that I'm a stubbornest person in church. I said, I'm not going to fall. I, today I want to see this magic. But I tell myself that in my mind, I'm not going to fall. He you came to me. You call it a magic? I, I call it a, That's how I see it because I couldn't understand it. Remember, I'm just eight years and I don't understand what's, what's happening. Yes. And then he, when he came to me and then he prayed in tongues, I couldn't hear. Oh, man, da, 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 da. I can't hear what he's saying. And I'm like, okay, it's fine. But I made a vow with myself that I'm not going to fall. And I'm not following here. Mm. And then he prayed. He pushed me now. He pushed me because this young man doesn't want to fall. And I'm like, I'm not going to fall. Then he left me. This woman who was shaking before they even touch her, he fell. I'm like, maybe women are falling. Maybe it's not for the men. Then I saw other guy fall. I'm like, what's happening with these people? Why am I not falling? I felt embarrassed at the end because everyone was th was down except me. I was standing there, a young boy who's just uh, who doesn't want to fall when everybody else is falling. And I, I started thinking when I'm alone that this is actually acting. It has it's not reality. As Christians will say, maybe you did not avail yourself for the spirit to control you. Maybe what do you think? I don't want the spirit to manipulate me. I want the spirit to talk to me. I'm I'm an honest person. So if I don't avail myself, so the spirit needs me, it means I'm a stronger person. Okay, so what's your uh, explanation for church? A church back then used to be a hospital where people go there and, and, and get healed. That's how I was introduced to back a church. Then. Yes. And now a church looks like either a business, a fashion parade, and a politic, a, a political organization. It serves three things. And that's why some of the churches today, they are being uh, actually changed, registered as NPO. NPO is just a business, it's just, but it's, it's called a non-profit, but it's a business. It falls under category of businesses. So I get to, uh, as I'm getting older, I even understand that sometimes churches are used to wash money. Mm -hmm. And just because I don't own one, then I don't know much. 
But if really I wanted a business and I wanted a place to wash money, I feel like a, a church would be because now it's registered as a business. Mm -hmm. I would use it for that. And when I say it's fresh in parade, you could look at the lifestyle. You know, I went to a certain church where the rich people sit up front and the poor ones stay. Actually, the poor ones were staying on the left side and at the back side of the church. I couldn't understand that system. And you would be told that you can't sit here. If you just the poor guy who's just gonna, or if you are new in church, you can't sit here. The new people, that segregation tells us that we're not equal before the eyes of God. Then why should I believe in that inequality that God is all is for all of us? If in God's house, as they call it, God's house, we are not equal. Because all of us, we are anticipated or expected to take out the offerings, poor or rich. The Bible says on Malachi chapter 3 verse 10, it says that bring ye the offerings unto the house of the Lord so that the house of the Lord can have food and see if me, the Lord, uh, cannot open the windows of he heavens and shower, we, sh shower you with blessings. So are those blessings for the rich ones only? If they are the ones that are rich, they, if they are for them, then some of us, they should leave us with our money and not take out any offering. Mm -hmm. The poor ones should stay on a different side and, and not take out money because they don't have money. Okay, but, so now you don't go to church. I don't go to church because right. because the church runs like a political party. That's why I don't have a membership for political party. Mm -hmm. The day I'm taking a membership for political parties, the day I'm do, joining the church, it means I'm ready to comply with the system of the world. The church changed from the house of the Lord to the system of the world. Or... Because I'm not hundred percent sure, or it was never even the house of the Lord. So what, what's your understanding of church? Okay, I'll, I'll always tell between what I was taught and what I think or believe now. Okay. Because the young person, me, when I joined the church, and the person I am now is two different people mm -hmm. because of the knowledge. Actually, my understanding of the church, like I say, this a church is a woman. How I was taught. I was taught that church is a woman. And what does the woman do? The woman takes care of the family. The man can go find uh, a job and bring money, but the woman is the one who's managing the family. It's actually the one who's cooking for the man. It's actually the one who's making sure that the, the, can even decide what a man looks like. So a, a woman can actually decide that today I don't want you to look good and you don't look good yeah, because the, she'll take out the, that ugly outfit for you today. And you're like, I'm late, but I, I don't like this jacket. It's already out. It's, the shirt that you don't like is already ironed. So she's like, nah, I thought this one will be good for you. And so the church is the place that uh, takes care of the people. It's where the families meet and make mini community that brings peace and knowledge and love in the world. Okay, from what you say, compared to the current church. Their current church, like I said, it's the one that puts the, that pushes the segregation, manipulation, and misleading departments. Because, how? Why do I say that? It's because it's no longer running like a home, like a hospital, like a place where we get healed. No, you actually get offended if you get sick and you go to church. You get sick. You get sicker by listening to one man sharing his knowledge and not even the knowledge of God. Because pastors nowadays, it's about themselves. You can see a pastor who's 50 years and in adolescent stage. You can see that this preaching, this one, is for attracting this sister next to me. It has nothing to do the with has, God. Is attracting somebody in the church. Ah, man, the topics are very crazy nowadays. <laughs> when you listen to the topics that they preach about... I, I once listened to a session in church that was talking about the politics. And one thing that I hate the most about the churches is one they start once they start labeling each other as if any of them making sense. Trust me, when I got baptized, I'm a baptized Christian. When I got baptized, the church that I got baptized from it goes uh, it it attends on saturday and not on sunday mm -hmm. and when i make a research the belief is that the seventh day is actually saturday and not sunday but then now when the system was changing um you know when the the catholic had power in their days yeah. 
um, things changed that you no, know, now it's going to be Sunday and then it became Sunday. You understand? They had power. You understand? If you you may, you you know about the Pope one, two, the, 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 those are the stuff that people don't talk about. I don't even know I'm talking about it, but maybe it's because I had or know about it. So now in the church, now the church that I'm going to, you'd find that there are some people who say. Yeah, the ones that are going on Sunday, it's like they're not saving God. It's just the day. You can still remain on your Saturday, your seventh day, and serve the God. So, 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 so those worshiping on Shabbat, or let's say Saturday, are judging those worshiping on Sunday. On Sundays. Mm. Also, the ones that are worshiping on Sunday, saying the ones on Saturday, they are doing the old things. Okay. Now things are new. And then the same people will say, that shall not judge. But they are judging at this. All of them are judging. It's, okay. it's in their New Testament even. And I don't understand. Because as I'm growing up, I get to understand that some things don't make sense and they are not solved in the, in the Bible. Let me tell you about the last day I went to church. I went to church actually before the last time. No, I'm lying. Before I went in, in Limpopo. I went to this church. Uh, it's the same church, Seventh Day Adventist. I was a, I was a preacher there, but I was not a pastor, just a preacher, mm -hmm. because I knew the Bible, I understood it. it. And then um, we went to a workshop in university. It was a church, but more like a workshop because they were just teaching about the music only, and they tell us that some instrumentals they 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 are demonic, and some songs belongs to the devil. They were giving us example with the song called Shumaya. And, you know, and I love the song, you know, I mean, I was a dancer by that time. And they like all the time I've been dancing to the devil's music. So they tell us that so those songs now where they bought me the worst. It's when they say the song that says when Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. They say it's 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 motivated by the evil spirit because of the instrumentals are these. And I'm like, oh, you wait there. When I listen, it depends who's listening to what in a song. The song says when Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. And you say because of the instrumentals, they go, no. It doesn't matter how and where I receive the message. It's how I take it in. Because the very same Bible you read, Jesus says that it's not about what gets inside your body. You understand? It's about what's coming out. You understand? We all are learning in different ways. You learn from seeing things and you're going to tell us, this is what I saw. We learn from hearing things. I hear things and I say, this is what I know because this is what I've had. And you're going to tell me that me listening to the words that are saying when Jesus says yes, because of the instrumentals, the words lose meaning. That's crazy. That's stupid. I'm not going to believe that. And because I was arguing, they said, maybe they, they just saw me as someone who doesn't belong to that church. And I'm like, Definitely, I don't belong to the church and I don't belong nowhere. Now, I belong to God and God, I believe that God, God is creation. That's my personal belief. Mm. God is creation. And if God is creation, I am created in his image. As the Bible says in the Genesis chapter 1, verse, 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 what? verse 25, when he created a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. And then he said, let us create men yeah, in own. our own image. So I'm the image of God. So image means imitation. So image, imitation, imagination as well. So this is the picture. Mm -hmm. So this is the likeness. It means the likeness. Okay, so I am like God. Can I create? Yes, my name is Lalas and I'm a musician, so I create songs, I create poems. I create food because I can plant food or I can cook food. You understand? So, okay, am I, I'm God. So we are all God because we can create, we are not, we are different from the animals. A lion doesn't create anything. It depends on something that has been created already. That's why as much as it's the king of the jungle, it cannot put a human being in a cage in the zoo. Human, even if, if, even if I'm afraid of the lion, I'm the one who's going to put it in the cage in the zoo and call other humans to go and look at it. So I'm saying that God doesn't even stay at church. And God is each and every one of us who believes in God but and also two or three people are gathered his name is there, okay? Definitely. And God is also a collective. So do you name. see do you see the church as business? I see church as business. Um, I see church as a fashion parade nowadays because people go in church for lifestyle. My church is better than yours. That means it's a lifestyle. There's something you're comparing. When we talk about church, church and God, we shouldn't be comparing. You can't compare God and God. Mm. No, you can't compare God and God. It's just, we are God. If we are God, we are just one. So we are human. 
So why would we compare that this church is better than this one because this one is practicing this? And now let's let's broaden this topic. Let's broaden it. You said that church is not only Christianity. I mean, you said that religion is not only Christianity, but because it's the dominating one we always talk about. So we have so many issues about Christianity because Christianity is the one that has so many. And Christianity can still be fixed. I believe that Christianity can still be fixed. Okay. If people can overlook the difference and look at one, God. The source. And also stop this nonsense of theirs of thinking that they can actually change people's lives. I mean, life is changed by God himself. <laughs> so this thing of saying, you, you come to my church, you become better. No, 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 no. Let me come as I am. I come as a rapper, I'm a rapper. Because I was told that I cannot do rap at some point when I'm at church. So I have to change. Do you believe in this profession, the miracles and whatever? <laughs> That's the very miracles, funny. miracles, their prophecies. Do you believe in them? Um, let me not say I believe or I don't believe. Mm -hmm. Let me just say I once questioned it. And, you know, I'm not just the person who go around and say things or... I ask pastors, I ask the people that are actually giving the message to the people. Mm -hmm. These are two questions I've once asked to the pastors and they failed to answer me. First one I asked from my church was, can God hate? Mm -hmm. They said no. I read the Old Testament and God said, even though um, Jacob was Esau's brother, yet I hated Esau and loved Jacob. Okay, sharp. You guys lied to me. You said God can hate. And that Bible says hate. It doesn't say I dislike. It does it says I hate it. I don't care what was the reason. Maybe it's because uh Isaiah was a concubine's child. Yeah. You understand, out of the holy as marriage is holy, mm -hmm. it was the child that was made. But that's still a child. What do you say about the child that came from rape? You mean that child cannot be anything better? That can be actually a child that it makes better things in life. You know, we let them be. We're not promoting rape. I don't wish anyone to get raped. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, if I am born of rape, give me the same respect you are giving to someone who was born inside, inside the marriage. Yeah. Because I can actually transform my life and give my life to God and still do well for others. And actually encourage people not to rape because I'm not proud of where I come from. But I'm proud that I'm, I was made and I'm a human and I came to earth. You are, it doesn't matter how I came. Because even myself, I don't know how I came. I was not there when my mom and my dad did me. I'm not sure what they told me. I'm not sure of it. It's, it's them who know what happens. You understand? So I asked them, the second question I asked the church, the, the pastors was, what's this speaking of tongue things? Do you understand when you are talking that what is it that you guys are talking about? And the other one said, hey, in Acts, you, those tongues were actually the real tongues. Ne? They said they were normal languages. Uh, people, when they listened to those people talking in the mountains, in, speaking in tongues, they had them in their own languages. So I must understand your tongues. Okay, cool. But why in church? I still can't understand, understand. them. And they cannot be interpreted to me. So I asked the, the, the other pastor that say, I, I, I like your church, ne? I like your preaching, but I don't like the speaking of tongues. Because what if that thing I'm saying in a different language is insulting God? Mm -hmm. And I wasn't answered. Or he even, decided not or to even answer. Cursing, cursing the members outside there. Exactly. Or cursing myself. You see any prophet in, in Africa that resembles or that has the, the likes of those prophets in the Bible? Can I tell you what I think a prophet prophecy is? Mm -hmm. I believe that prophecy is the words of wisdom. And I believe that prophets don't even need to go to the church. Prophets and shamans are people that are out there. Most of them, I'll tell you, because I did some content around that. These are the people that have been given a gift. A gift of healing and a gift of feeling. Oops. Now, I'll tell you the difference between a, a gift of healing and a gift of, he of, of, mm -hmm. uh, of feeling. A gift of feeling meaning that they are so much rich in empathy. They can feel for other people, right? But they can also feel the pain from back then, the generational persecutions. Okay. And I'm talking about the persecutions in the political aspect, the persecutions in family, generational, because some of our families were bewitched back then. 
But those people are suffering those, they have that weight on them. They are spiritual people, but they are here to change lives. But the disadvantage is most, their things are slow because their task is too great. So they take time helping people, but they don't have many people to help them. Mm. Those are the real prophet. They go and even advise the wise men that wise men, here you are wrong. And when you, re when you read the Bible, the person that came to David and said, David, sleeping with somebody's wife was wrong. That person wasn't a king, wasn't a rich. That was a prophet. Did David go to a church uh, to get th that message? No, the prophet came to him. The prophets, we live with them. And most of them, let me tell you, if we have many of them and they come out like some of us and go to this podcast and talk to you, they will disappear. I'm one of the people that are more likely to disappear because the world doesn't want to know the truth. You go on YouTube and you listen to my song, um, Humble Facts. Humble yeah, where I address the issues of the system, the crime, the drugs, the politics. It's one thing. When you talk more of those things, even the internet limits how many people should hear that. All right. <laughs> uh, today, I'm not going to take much of your time. Mm. I call these prophets. Mm. These pastors, mm. I call them criminals. They are robbing Peter <laughs> to pay Paul. Yeah. They are enriching themselves. Mm, definitely. Mm. They are telling members to go build their rich lifestyle in heaven. So I call them criminals. They are criminals. All definitely. of them. <laughs> There's no exception to me. Yeah. I don't know of you. you I can decide mm, to take some It's fine. Mm, but to me, mm. I see all of them as one. I call all of them criminals mm. because they are all manipulating people mm. to enrich themselves. They are all using the name of Jesus Christ to enrich themselves. Mm. They are all saying things Jesus never asked them to come say. And they are all has nothing like those prophets in the Bible. Why are they teaching? Prophets are not teachers. This is where it got wrong. In fact, these people we call prophets, they are self-proclaimed prophets. They are called themselves. They are not prophets to start with. Prophet is someone different. It's not someone who stands in front of the church. Prophet is not for the fame. Prophet is not for the money. Prophet is for the saving and the healing. That is the person that you actually would look down. If, if a prophet enters the church, they look down on the prophet because his platform is not there. His platform is with people. He's going to heal and serve, not to enrich. Prophet doesn't receive the tithe. The tithe is not for the prophet, it's for the pastor. Now the problem starts when the pastor start calling themselves prophet and then they mislead everyone, as you say. Even paying of tithe is a crime. <laughs> Something tells me you don't even believe in, in, in tithe, the Bible. Paying of tithe is mm. a crime. You should be paying tax. Mm. Not tight. When you pay them to, to, uh, the, 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 the tight, mm. are they the descendant of Abraham or of uh, Melchizedek? Mm. Are they Jewish? Mm. Are they rabbis? Who are they? <laughs> they you are understand? Human. Yeah. The Africans. Okay. Mm. Maybe mm. they are Zulus. Maybe yeah, they are Shantis. Yes. Maybe they are Kuzes. Mm. What that, that's got to do with that of uh, Melchizedek? Are you Melchizedek? So myself, you are not Melchizedek. Yeah. So to me, paying of tax of is, even is, is even a crime. Pay tax. Instead. You pay the one that is going to help people. To help people. But help people, with this corrupt, uh, you know, now everybody is corrupt. Trust me, from the politics to the religion, even the, the, the money that's supposed to do good, it end up doing bad things. You understand? Now you pay a tithe thinking that, as because I told you that I believe in the Bible, right? Mm. So according to the Bible, when we pay tithe, it's supposed to help the church to become better. Okay, but so you if, go to if, a if church. You believe in paying of tithe is going to help the church to be whatever. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. The person who took the tithe was who? Melchizedek, right? Mm -hmm. How many times did Melchizedek took the tithe? I, I don't know much of it. Once. Mm. And Melchizedek did not even request for tithe. Mm. He did something for Abraham. Yes. And then Abraham said, ah, take this thing. Yeah. So it was out of love from Abraham that he gave this to Melchizedek. And what was the motive? Abraham was coming from a war or something. Mm. 
what does work have to do with did you go to work no i didn't why are you paying that are you, are you returning from my work <laughs> abraham went to kill somebody yeah and he won't make his deck to uh, certify him blah 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 you talk mm-hmm. of the origin where this whole type yes, thing coming, coming from. from now i understand yeah, you so the person who took the type he even took it once mm. and the person who gave him the type gave him out of love for doing something for him so what do you say about the verse in the in the bible they actually there are many that talks of us taking the there's no verse in the bible that says pay tight every month yeah it doesn't tell of them <laughs> so what are you doing something that is contrary to the bible hey she does the, it's not specific now you're very you're very right but the today. bible says we shouldn't add anything to the bible or take something out of the bible so if you are following the bible mm. how many times did they pay tight in the bible hey and Jesus would just help these people without collecting even tithe. But then Christian, I understand that if we're a Christian mm, and then you are following the footsteps of Christ. Of Christ, yes. Did Christ pay tithe. No, he wasn't. Did, he uh, wasn't even before. taking. But then again, it's because he was not a pastor. Remember, he just came as in the form of just the human, as you know. Jesus was a prophet. He's the last prophet. Yeah, but he wasn't in church. You understand? He wasn't in church. So if we're following Jesus Christ. Mm. What are you doing in church? That's why I say even even prophets shouldn't go to. They are not in church. If they go to church, they would be the ones sitting at the back, actually. They wouldn't be standing there and saying, that's why. And I'm saying uh, with myself as a creator, as a creator, because I told you that we are creation. I don't have a problem with any new system being made. I mean, these things we are using here, this microphone system, everything, it's system. But I'm saying if there's any system that is created to manipulate people and then it's used it's used as a a, a, a thing to, 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 to promote Christianity or you know to you understand that system belongs to the devil and shouldn't be we shouldn't be ab- abiding to it. And I feel like the churches of that are made today, most of them they are not of God. To me, I see everybody. Churches died as a church. a church. Definitely, I see everybody as God. As God, I now now that's because that's where we meet a I common see ground. <laughs> everybody as God. Yeah, it's in my mind that I will never do bad to you. Mm. But if I do bad to you, to me, I see I'm doing bad to God. True. And the Bible says, if you do bad mm. to a human being, you can even ask for forgiveness. But what happens if you do bad to God? Yeah, yeah. So if yeah. you have this in mind, it's easy for you to live with anybody in peace mm. because you love the person. And because of the love you have for the person, you are not going to do any bad to that person. The church should be taken that care of us. Mm. Me, myself, you, your friends. We well, are the church. Yeah, as you, you actually quoted a verse where you say, Where three gathered in my where name. Where three or two or, two or, two or three them. people mm. are gathered in my name. Yeah. There I am. But, uh, so it means two or three people can get there, but not in the name. Mm, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed how nowadays churches um, do seek, seek? to use this earthly marketing strategies to get people on their side. It's like they, they hunt people like how political parties are going for promises and promises and promises. That's why I said promises on promises. So promises are politics and delivery is not ideal. All it's, this thing is happening because people think these gangsters, these mafias, these mm, criminals mm. has access to God. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so because... Let me say, if I do bad thing to you now, uh, instead for me to call you and say, oh, bro, I'm mm, sorry, please yeah. forgive me. Mm. And then you forgive me freely from your heart. Yeah. I will never do that. I will then go to your pastor mm. to ask for forgiveness. And have you noticed, no matter how many times you lie to these people, you can come to South Africa anytime. You tell them that, I'm God, I'm going to change your lives and all that, and you should call me these. And then you leave. You take their money, you leave. Somebody else come, do the same thing, they still go. That is The other one comes. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with our people. The problem is, they say they are Christians. Okay? 
That's why I say they say they are Christians. Whoever comes acting Christian. So ah. seek ye the kingdom and its righteousness first. And the rest shall be added, added to you. Yes. Christians doesn't want to seek the kingdom, kingdom the of right God first. Mm-mm. For the rest to be added unto them. So the, now they want the shortcut. So they the, let me the, pay the, bribe uh, to this man of God so that mm, God will do the will rest. Do. So yo, 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 yo. Now, now it becomes now you you you're very challenging me. I should be the one challenging you because I'm the <laughs> guest. And <laughs> because actually, actually you just awoke something in my mind that you know, now that the system the way it's corrupt the the way i like to i spoke about corruption we normalized it to a point that we think even in 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 god there's this corruption we can yeah. get to god through an advocacy so of christian ah, who is going to a pastor to see god is paying bribe that's why i said they are all committing crimes yo. because they are paying bribe through this criminal to God. I'm even thinking now, if if anyone out of South Africa, if anyone in Ghana or Nigeria is watching or will watch that this podcast, what I'm telling you, you'll be like, wow, South Africa is so easy to get money from. That person after this will start a church because they know 100% they have customers in South Africa. If they want to manipulate South Africans, they just come and act. We love acting. That's the problem. In yeah. South Africa, we don't love real things. We love acting things. Yeah, These things is happening all over the world. It's because, not as only. Ne? Because, yeah. because people think God is oracle. Mm. That you need to see a seer. Or somebody else to go through God. To God, yeah. But if you say you are a Christian, the Bible says mm. you go through Jesus Christ. Christ. Mm. And then how do you go to Jesus Christ? It mm. says build your own personal relationship with God. And now, now, so if you are worshiping my God, mm. tell the God of a cornerback, the God of a cornerback, mm. say, where is your God? Hey, now tell me. I want this is the this one is for you, because as much as we spoke, since I'm a Christian, what I felt like we are closing others out. We talk, we spoke a lot about Christ, Jesus Christ, Christ. Now let's talk about others. Let's talk about Hinduism and Muslims, and you know the people that are not in Christianity family. Now, since Christians they go through Jesus Christ, and others they go through who? You've not even finished. Talking about how you go to heaven. You are thinking about the San Gomez. Think about yourself first. How do you go to Jesus? That is our goal. Purify you yourself. You understand? Mm. As Christians. I don't talk about Muslims, whatever, whatever because I am not a Muslim. Mm. I am not a Hindu man. Mm. I'm not a San Goma. I am a Christian. Mm. So I want to dive more into Christianity. Into Christianity. But that is mm. what I believe. Mm. So I, if I don't believe in Muslims, that's their problem. I don't do you believe in twenty fifth being 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 the Jesus Christ birthday? No. Do you believe, believe in Good Friday being? I don't believe in those kind of stuff. Okay, okay. now I think we're on the right. <laughs> my, my problem. Okay. My problem. What you are talking about can be spiritual, or whatever. To, definitely, understand? for real. I am physical, so I'm always thinking physical. Mm. The spirit, everybody has a spirit. Now I have a spirit. If I sleep, my spirit can go to toilet. It can go to whatever. <laughs> I don't care. In the morning, come. Let me use you in the physical. I want to control the physical. Mm. The spirit in me do your things in the spirit. That's your problem. Mm. Fix it. I don't care. But now, as I'm awake, I want to do the physical. And things. if if we've never died, Konoba, why do we so? Why do we so? care much about what happens after death because i feel like this is another thing that we manipulated with now people say they make the you know there's this thing i read on social media where they say yo the white people came and made their heaven on earth and told us that our heaven is somewhere up there i feel like there are some christians that feel like they are living in heaven while they are here they deny themselves an unleashing of their full potential to explore the things of the world as, as they are in world as we speak okay mm. there are a lot of blacks mm. who don't even think about the rules 
mm. the gold, the diamond, the silver, mm. manganese. They don't care about natural mineral, uh, natural minerals. But they are here with they the don't minerals. Care about uh, the, how the government is controlling. What they mm. care about is heaven. Mm. Hey. They are thinking about heaven. So you suffer here, and what if there's more suffering where we go? Because yeah. these things we read about them. I don't think myself. That's why I say. I'm stuck. Trust me. I, I even feel sometimes I feel like it's not enough for me to just say I'm a Christian because I feel like I'm more than that. You are. A, you I'm are, a you human. Are more than a, you know. Listen, Christianity is not a religion. Okay. Mm. Christianity is a lifestyle. That is why when they go to Antioch, mm. they told them, "Ah, these are the Christ-like people. These are mm. Christians mm. because their lifestyle depends that of Christ. Of Christ. So Christianity is not even a religion. Mm. It's a lifestyle. Mm. What is lifestyle? I see my brother, I see the pain, I feel the pain. You need something, I give it to you. I need you, give it to me. Make life easy. And that's why I say the shamans, they have a gift or feeling. Because now, a normal person who's not like, um, let's just say if you're not controlled by the spirit of God, you don't feel. Most of people don't you understand? feel. understand? So anybody who... That's why they can kill like nothing. So if you have feelings for your brother, you are Christ-like. You are God. You understand? Mm. you understand because god even said that jesus even said since you did not do it for your brother you did not do it for me for me exactly and actually um there's a thing that i loved so much some some at some point some pastors once said something amazing about this whole christianity thing and all this whole you know they said just said that when you think of god think of love but the greatest God. law is God love. is love. God is love. And now, if 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 we had that love, why would we say, you know, there's a certain church member that said, I'm going to beat you now because you said in that church there's God. Because he was saying a certain church didn't have God. He said, God will never step his foot in that church. And I'm like, hi, bo. So in our church, God doesn't stay in our church because when the pastor is preaching there, you are sitting there at the back. The devil is busy whispering, sleep, sleep, you sleep. <laughs> God is not in a building, okay? Yeah. God is not in a building. Yeah. God is in me. God it's in me. God is in you. God is you. So I God see is that me. building mm. as just uh, Jewish we say Zevel, garbage. You understand? People mm. are there in that building. The Bible when, said we are one in Christ. You understand? People mm. are in that building mm. just to kill somebody. Mm. People go there just to take somebody's husband, somebody's wife. People go there just to fight. Mm. People go there just to care somebody. And to gossip. You understand? To gossip. Mm. That place is not even essentially to be called a god sitting place. Mm. I am God. Seven. There's no better church because when I read in the book of Africa, I think is it chapter 12, um in the book of revelation i know it's 7 12 where it talks about the seven churches the seven angels of the seven churches and when each angel was assigned to go speak to the church they said you guys are doing well the problem you don't keep the sabbath holy you guys are doing well but you don't care about your brothers you don't have love you don't have true love you don't have first love and you guys are doing this but you and i'm like None of those churches were right. And when I look at the churches of today, that runs like political parties. I, I think they need 100 angels to point 100 mistakes. You know what? <laughs> this conversation will continue later on, okay? And, and it keeps coming it to keeps the same coming. place. You know, <laughs> I, I, love, I love your spirit. And then um, the spirit I'm talking about, is I love how you, you see yourself, how you understand the whole situation, yeah. how knowledgeable you are. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, These yeah, are the yeah. kind of people who I Bless want her. on my platform. Bless Somebody her. who has the knowledge to speak. Yeah. You I cannot just come tell me, ah, I saw in the spirit that Jesus was mm. black. Where's mm. your evidence? Where's your evidence? And it's not just about me coming here, uh, showing you how smart I am. It's also living here with something from you. Because yeah. as a, when you told me about where the text and type came from that part i didn't know of it mm -hmm. i'm not gonna come here and i saw there's a certain podcast i don't know who's that uh, guy he's uh he's wearing like uh you know the captains and what he asked the pastors only he always have the pastors on his podcast and he would ask these tricky questions that the pastors 
don't know how to answer. And you know why they can't answer? It's not because they don't know. It's because they say when they go there, they believe they know everything. Mm -hmm. Until you get challenged, it's until they come and sit with someone who's really and they they look like stupid because now so they. So for me, I would just uh, <laughs> I would just advise you can even take it or leave it. Mm. See yourself as God. See yourself as you have your own God in you, your personal relationship. I already See believe in that. Mm. That you can talk to God without anybody ca coming into to a third person to a third person. True. See yourself that God is even closer to you mm. more than that pastor you are following. Definitely. See yourself that when you speak, it works. Mm. Because the Bible says he has put curse and then blessings on our tongues. Mm. So everybody has that power in him. Mm. So once you give your power to somebody else, you become inferior. The person mm. will control you for the rest of your life. Definitely. Thank you. Mpene fosi bibi wa wia senti ni eda ni atupunu na ne papa ni fonti e wo se umo bambo hu hia na ne papa mu die pro technologies ana me kan fa mawo ane pro technologies we are specialized in both sales and installation of cctv cameras ye ton e sa install cctv cameras in the saw gun and nasa brochi na u fi organ na beso ye cctv camera installation we need pro technologies and in saw so ye cctv camera installation electric fence automated gate access control video Bell and our intercom and our satellite TV home theater so we pay biato and our to and our person be installing my pro technologies and our self fryer na shining so so you feel the energy from America but you may this and papa now pay dia man you know na ne buan so that form make sure you know the web but you may move any branch in Ghana you need more brow or brain into seek a fire and some see if any of your body may Ghana or da da na ne tennis yes I general construction so we brought you now person see if you Ghana and then you plan be a person see so what shall and now fin up a sousi plant beer you be see a man and which so here solar power and now bamba wants and send the idea when you need to have a soul near sassy a smart home a pair from video be up a session share a wolf here and now a tumor more than my war when you need to have a soul we are just a call away near some so are there the mahain and now for a bro travel to ghana now open full house room and now apartments are high for short term and now long term you be more beyond the border form now bamba wants and get man you know and now you're interior decoration so as if you're in a way and now you're still feeling a mouth Yes, sir. The creation. The best yes, you see. And now office or Eddie Amal. And we just want to find the baby. Now we hope we have fast to install it. And now the settings. Yeah, be here. Eddie Amal. Ewo Ghana. Ube huye. We are more afraid than ta. Eddie we niyache do doa. Ube huye. Ewo Ashi. Yeni Amal information. And we the same building. For information or WhatsApp. Four zero one seven five seven zero three zero zero. And a plus four zero one six nine nine two two five four. Pro Technologies. We have the solutions for your security and home. Entertainment needs at affordable prices.